Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Arizona Cardinals. And it's coming up next. We are in the Valley of the Sun, few places in the country as picturesque as the desert southwest. And we've got a good one on tap here at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it will be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Just about set for football. Blake Groupie is ready to get us started. And we are underway from Glendale. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here come the Cardinals, and it is Kyler Murray from Oklahoma who leads them out. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. First play and a first pass from Murray. And incomplete on the deep ball. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Now a second and ten. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray rolling to his right. And down he'll go at the 25. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. This is fielded at the 27. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. It's been fun to watch his development through the years. And right now, what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Are going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at the 33 yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. At that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete. 
Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll set up a throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Camaro. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It was a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, Brandon, we can see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignment. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Below Nichols in there to take him down. Third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. So on fourth down, on is Lou Headley to punt for New Orleans. And back deep is DJ Dallas. Fielded at the 33. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And the Cards will take over first and ten. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they lost string together a nice drive and helped themselves out. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver, but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front, so if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him picks up three on that carry. Connor going to get it again on second down. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. On third down, it's Benson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now a pass caught by Zay Jones. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Now a give right side. It's Benson. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Murray. Open man here is Benson. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's gonna bring up third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. 
And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Second and five. Out of the gun, here's Murray. He completes it to Jones. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Here we go now on first and goal. Here's Murray. And he'll be brought down right at the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. him back to the two-yard line. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Once again, it's Connor. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Does it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Cards' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Prater for the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. 
They're going to look to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Throwing now is Carr. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Here's Lou Headley on now to punt the football. Taken right around the 44. 35 yards that time on the punt. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50. First and 10. The football going back over to Arizona now. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. a give. This is Connor. He'll take this to the 46. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. To throw, it's Murray. Uh, Sherwood here caught by McBride. Seven yards there in the first down. We see quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions or one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They run behind center with Connor. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Throwing now is Murray. Buying time to his left. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray, a three-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Extra point good by Prater. And it's now 14-0. A drive that time of six plays and the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray and 
After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This taken in right around the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Second down. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine. Here's Carr. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really good pickup of 28 yards. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 47. On play action, now Carr. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and you're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. Meanwhile, Carr's throw caught by Alave. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Carr going to try and throw on third down. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Murray going to throw. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And this one will be brought back to the 22. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. And they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and 10 here.
Now after the INT, it's Carr. And he's got it. Touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are back within a score. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Groupie able to add the PAT, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Wreaking havoc was Nathan Shepard, the D tackle. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Going for the deep ball. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by rights, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Murray now to throw. And he is caught. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. On first and ten is counter. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. But well, not many guys who can blow up plays like Chase Young. He did it again there. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here into the hands of Jones. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. On play action, it's Murray. And Wilson with it, complete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A good pick up there, 21 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, 
And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. This is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Trey McBride, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals go up by two touchdowns. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Now Prater to add the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to so that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. On first down, Carr. It's knocked away and incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Looking to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them leveling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. He lets it go deep for Alave. And got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Alave motioning to the left. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one, and they need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. That's Zayvon Collins into the backfield with ease and making the stick. But that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this... Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 34-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it, and he got it. Camaro there with a the first down carry, but not much running room, and he takes it forward for only a couple. It's second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going, and then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 
Carter's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Car now on first down. He completes it to Alave. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Camara. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Again, Kamara. And this time he scores. Touchdown, New Orleans. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. And a point after, good by Groupie. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Cardinal offense takes back over. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Murray now on first down. Out to the right here to Wilson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that's going to bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. They'll come up now, third and three. Murray now. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. Here's Blake Gillikin now. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Take it in at the 22. Escapes the defender. And now off to the races, down the right side. Mark that down as a punt return of 78 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And that jumps the excitement level up a few notches, doesn't it? What a big-time punt return for a touchdown. 
Now their cohorts on the special team side, they've got to add the PAT. That would be the equalizer. Here's Groupie for the PAT. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. Well, we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department, and he showcases it there all the way back for six. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And this taken in at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 21. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor, shedding the tackle. And they'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 24 now, here's a second and seven. Again, a run with Connor. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 46 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. Now it's Murray. Man open here is Jones. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Murray. Pass incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and 10. Here's Murray. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 31, here's the second down and six. Here's Murray. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. 
Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. To throw is Murray. Able to get this one to McBride. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Throwing on first down is Murray. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. This is Connor running right. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. To throw, it's Murray. Open that here is Benson. Down inside the 10, and he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Now Murray off play action. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that hole, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. This is the most important of them all, third and goal. Throwing now is Murray. Dancing to his left. Oh, he stays up. And he is in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray taking it in from four yards out. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, You've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spot, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. On play action, now Carr. 
Downfield, and he's got Olave. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And that goes for a gain of 31. But my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From midfield, here's Carr. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Mac Wilson in there to get him. It's a loss of five. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses happen their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Meanwhile, Carr's throw caught by Alave. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 26. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. Pushes past him. And they can't bring him down. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Into the red zone. It's Carr. They'll get this out to Kamara. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And they'll send the slot in motion left. And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Kamara. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call a new game that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Carr going to try and throw on third down. is going to be incomplete. Here we go with Kamara. not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Murray now on first down. Screen pass to Connor. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard and it's second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit and they can throw it downfield. Second down, Murray sets to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. 
The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third down, Murray. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Blake Gilligan on to punt here as he'll send this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded at the 43. Now a hit and a loose football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> as the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. The focus goes back to Chris Alave, the Saints offense, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Carr. Alave holds it in. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. On first down, Carr. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 36-yard line. The final shot here before half for Carr. This one deep for Wilson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you on out to our studios in Orlando. Here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, the Cardinals did what they always do, and that's rely on their quarterback, Tyler Murray. He threw two touchdown passes, and he ran for two more. He did it all, as his guys were putting up points in bunches. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. And the Saints going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. But Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football. And now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And 
we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Here's Kamara off the draw. And the big boys up front. They're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play that time. And they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern day NFL defensive tackle. But what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Throwing now is Carr. And that is incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Murray now on first down. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Connor up the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 76 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. His carries tonight, they're getting up there. So maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, OK, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Murray getting this complete to counter. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Yeah, 
They'll try and run for him with counter. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He gets this away as he'll wisely, I'd say, angle this to the sideline. The Saints again ready to go on offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. And he'll start with a give to Kamara. Fights through it, fighting his way through contact. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 25 yards, the pickup there, and also a first down. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient, because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one, as he just did there. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On play action, it's Carr. And his throw is incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. On second down, Camara. And he'll be taken down at the 34. They do get a yard there, but only a yard leaves him with third and nine looming. And that's why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. From the gun, it's Carr. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Oh, a free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And they'll begin by running the option. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Murray now. Catch made right side by Wilson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 
It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. They fake the handoff, now Murray. They'll roll him out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Cameron Jordan so tough to block as he gets in there to record the sack. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely, maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Murray now to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 38-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So in Saints' territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now Murray. Over the middle, complete. It's Jones. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. From the gun, Murray. This is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 23. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. On first and 10, here's Murray. To Connor on the check down. And he is going to lose yardage here. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Well, that wasn't exactly a thing of beauty. I know they completed the pass, but look at the yardage lost. I mean, who does that make happy? That's why I don't play in PPR points per reception fantasy <laughs> leagues right there. <laughs> You'd be really You don't deserve upset, anything right? for that. But you get credit for it? Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. Well, I know whoever has this team's defense, they won't be about that play. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 23 yards on the play. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit. Keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Murray going to throw. Flush, feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Brian Brzee fought in and got him down. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. 
Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here's Murray. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you didn't mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. Send it away following the made field goal. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scald out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Carl will try it again on second down. Over the middle and complete to Shahid. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch good enough for a first down. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Car now on first down. They'll set up the screen now to Camaro. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Now a first down carry, it's Camara. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now Carr. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. 
The Saints on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and nine. The slot man in motion right. Now fake on the jet sweep. And they'll instead run up the middle. And he is going to lose yardage here. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming from the left hash. This from 46. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. They start to drive with counter. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Throwing now is Murray. This is taken in by McBride. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Throwing on first down is Murray. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. On second down now, it's Benson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is taken at the 18. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. 
Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Kamara up the middle. 72 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Playing against a 3 4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Now Carr. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Play action. Now it's Carr. Going right back to Wilson. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Saints are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Johnson from four yards out. And the Saints are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Groupie for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So the drive there took six plays, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Now this one setting up for a great finish, all tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. 
They'll see about converting this third and eight. To throw, it's Murray. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. From here on, any score could be the winning one, and he is certainly aware of that. Look at the way he locked in on that marker and made a mad scramble to get to it for the first down. First and ten is counter. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 89 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. First down, Murray. Throwing quickly to Wilson. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Second down, Murray sets to throw. Catch made, right side by Wilson. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll run on first down. Benson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Second down and a yard. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Murray a give. This is Connor. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. And they'll run on the inside. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. The New Orleans offense set to take over. But a fumble recovery certainly has put them in the driver's seat. First and 10, all tied here in the fourth. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr. He completes it to Alave. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. A busy night continues for Kamara. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. 
I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. The result only four yards there on the play and it'll be second down. Card out of throw. Alave over the middle. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. The play over before it really got started thanks to Pete Werner. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked off linebacker. A three yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11 yard line. Give him two yards that time and it's gonna leave him with a third and 11 situation. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. They'll fake it to counter. Now Murray. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Defensively, mission accomplished. And now, with under three to go, they may be the last team holding the football. They may very well be the last team holding the football. Unless, of course, you're facing a group that is really aggressive offensively and may want to take a gamble. But theoretically, you've done your job now. You should get the ball back on a punt, but I'd be alert for a fake. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Saints will have a short field in front of them. They take over here, first and 10. Throwing on first down is Carr. And this one is incomplete. Ah, oh, that would have been a nice one to hit on in a tie game. You start to think that one big play, maybe the next big play, could turn out to be the game winner. They took the big shot, but it winds up incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This one finds Wilson downfield. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. With that last completion, CD's now over 400 yards passing in the game. And quite a few of those have come via some pretty big strikes downfield. Certainly not afraid to challenge this secondary, and it's been successful. I like your observation there, partner, because I agree. This is a group 
more than capable of torching a secondary any week as evidenced by their combined stat line here. And in the time we have remaining, wouldn't shock me at all to see them take another deep shot. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. Plenty of time, all three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Now a handoff, here's Kamara. And he's only gonna get a yard from the 20 to the 19. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They'll come up now, second and nine. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. A big play here. Crowd on their feet. Third and four. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. Their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for the lead in the final stages. And his kick is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down 34-31, a minute six to play. And they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. But just over a minute to go in the football game. Second and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Back to throw, Murray. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart, took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. To throw is Murray. 
Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, and that is incomplete. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Another try, second and 10 now. Now Murray. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Trying to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Back to throw. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving him nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. The Saints in victory formation now as they'll take the knee. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but bottom line, they got the job done. Yeah, it is the bottom line, isn't it? A few anxious moments along the way, though. A few sweaty palms, not just for the team, but for their fans. As you mentioned, down going into the fourth quarter. How about the rally? How about the comeback? Getting it done on both sides of the ball, holding them when they needed to, and finding ways to get points when they had the football. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night, everybody.